So this video is going to be different. Um, instead of just going around and showing the progress, I'm just going to show a bit of work as I do it, uh, which I haven't really done before, but it's basically me um, trying to figure out why my dash lights aren't working. <laughs> it's not the most interesting video I've ever taken, but it's just a little bit different than the normal. Um, I had other stuff that I was going to throw in here about my... Um, windshield washer is not working but i actually didn't manage to take enough of that um essentially i just needed to find a new valve for my windshield washer it's just a simple air valve because it doesn't work by a pump it works by pressurizing the bottle and then squirting out from the other tubes it's, it's kind of like blowing into a juice box as a kid like you know if you blew on the straw it would pressurize the box and then as soon as you quit it would uh a bunch of juice would come out the straw right so it's kind of a similar concept only mine happened to get replaced but not really replaced someone put a different valve in realized it wasn't going to work and then just quit hooking it up and bypassed the whole system so i need to find a new valve so if a bunch of wiring doesn't interest you, then I'm sorry, but yeah, just something different for a change. All right, back in the truck here to work on these lights. Now, one thing I have grown to really enjoy is the fact that this thing has battery disconnects. For working around in the stash, um, as you know, most of these are stabbers. Um, the prong grabber gripper things, um, and they're prone to pop off. So sometimes that happens. Sometimes you get sparkies. If they're original, they'll have a sleeve. Sometimes people cheap out and they put ones like this on that don't have a sleeve. Well, if that's a hot wire and it touches the aluminum it's going to spark so having those shutoffs just give you peace of mind you can work away and then quick flick stuff on and uh, you don't have to worry if you do get a really bad short you can kill the power and it even works for the things like the starter sticking um, I've had that happen once and not on this truck but uh, that's kind of scary you know it's you know fire material so, yeah, I'm really glad this thing has shutoffs. I've never boosted it. It sat most of the winter, fired right up. Um, yeah, that's a good thing. Now, my dash lights, I have it narrowed down. Um, you figure out the way these 359s are configured. These, so this is a breaker and this is a breaker and it's two the two strips here the breaker strips out in the dash where you can get at them easy um which i really like it's nice when they make things easy to fix on um this side is hot all the time this side is hot with the key so obviously my lights are not um what do you call them? Uh, they don't work on the ignition, right? So obviously my power for my dash lights are running down the always hot side of the breakers. And what I have done is, here we go. I do know I have a wiring diagram for 359s and this here, 253, is the common power wire now as you've if you've seen my other videos you know the um main dash light setup is the hot wire that ha grounds out through the mount which is just a clip um that clips into the aluminum dash panel therefore you only need one wire to have dash lights the exceptions being this which is the switch for the um, well, fiber optic switch labels and these sticks are really getting in the way here 
Um, I pull out this panel. Um, the warning lights. Your idiot lights here, those are two wire, ground power. Everything else is configured so you need a good ground on the clip. So if I look here and see that my, let's see here, we'll call it the bottom side contact is hot, should be hot. I can go over here, stick my needle nose in that side of the configuration. This is harder to do with one hand. Um, and short it out with my needle nose on a hot breaker like such. And I have dash lights. So, somewhere amongst this wireage is something that isn't working now. The only th other thing I know is that it must have something to do with one of these four wires on this switch because I know that my um, dash lights come on with this switch, amongst other things. So I have to figure out what wire comes to the switch to tell it to turn on the dash lights and then find out where that one goes and where f was it 253 goes so I can find where in this mess I popped a wire off. And when I do find it, it's probably going to seem really obvious. And um, maybe a whole bunch of these clips here, which is where someone pulled power off for some other wire. There's all these blue clips. That's all... Um, aftermarket customization level stuff um including this wire and there's a bunch of just random wires running through here i would love to know what they all are supposed to go to but um little by little i'll uh figure out this mess it's um nice a lot of this still has the original labels on it but a lot of this patched in wiring doesn't so that's going to be the chores to figure out what's original and what's not. So, yeah. So another thing on these 359s is they will number the wires there. Um, but they also have a color coding. So here we have 253 is an orange wire with a green stripe. Now, if you don't know what number wire you're looking at, or if you can only see a little bit of it, you have... Um, a key here which this is the back of the um, glove box and there you have the three number system so the first number doesn't mean color it has nothing to do with the color so two five three ignore that so you have five and three stripe color body color five green stripe orange wire so if you can't read what the number is just look at the key it also tells you what the breakers are. And um, that will tell you what you're looking for. So I'm looking for wire 13, I believe, is the hot wire. So all I have to do is find a wire that has a brown stripe and is an orange body. So that should be fairly easy to find in here. So how this works is these breakers all get fed common power with this loop. So it hops from the left side of these breakers from side one, one wire to the next. So this is the main wire that feeds all of the breakers, right? This side has the same thing, except it stops with the second last breaker. This last breaker's power comes from this wire, which is bundled into this wire, which you can follow across, and it comes out here, and the other one is comes out here. So theoretically, if I have power here,
which I don't because I need to turn the switch on. There, I have power. So that's feeding this breaker, which I have power there. So it should be feeding wire 13, which it is, so I have power. So where wire 13 goes into a rheostat, which then powers wire 253. So, I actually haven't checked this out, but I'm assuming what that means is the dimmer switch. So I should check the dimmer switch and see what number of wires are on it, which is that guy. We're down in this big blob. Looks harder to get to on camera than it really is, but this, that thing there has a, no, I can't see this very well, but it does have 253. And I know that because it is an orange wire with a green stripe. And the other wire, I'm not sure if I can get this figured out to show you how exactly, um, but... That one has a brown stripe. So I need to check if there's power on the dimmer switch. And if this thing functions, ooh, there's pixies on that side. And there's on the main stud of the thing, but I'm not getting anything on 253. So if I short, if I short out the rheostat to 253, the dash lights come on. And now they don't. So, what happened? Well, if I can reach on through here without electrifying myself, I dare say that if I unplug this wire, which is 253, and plug it back in, giving it a good wiggle, do I get anything? Nope. What if I just jam it up against the old uh, back of the rheostat there? Yeah, got power. So, Leave that wire aside for the moment. Grab my test light. Reach in around to find the stud on the back side. I got power there. So what I do have is a dirty old connection, or dirt that's preventing a connection, between this old wire here, 253, and the dimmer switch or dash light rheostat whatever you want to call it the thing what makes the lights dim when you want them to be dash lights so get some cleaner and clean all that out maybe this will be an easy fix after all 